I don't agree with her. No, no, I don't agree with her here. Absolute BS. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist. I talk about all things skincare, skincare formulation, back end and front end of all things skincare. So if you like stuff like that, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and hit the like button because today's video is gonna be a juicy one. Okay, so this video is pretty popular. It's by an esthetician. The video's title is Please Stop Using Witch Hazel. So that already is telling me that this person is taking a stance and um, I really just want to talk about Witch Hazel today and debunk some things that were said in the video and give you guys my opinion about Witch Hazel and how Witch Hazel works because in the past I have had my opinion on Witch Hazel but I've come to study more about it and I just felt like I should speak on it and tell you guys what my opinions are on it. Okay so before we start the video Witch Hazel is gotten from trees it's gotten from the bark of the trees. It's also gotten from the leaves of the trees. The part of the trees that witch hazel is gotten from contains a product called tannus. Tannus is what gives witch hazel its astringent properties. It helps take care of the acne associated with eczema or inflammations that come from acne. Now that I've kind of talked about witch hazel, I'm gonna play the video and then I'll talk more about witch hazel. Now, a little birdie told me that you have been toning wrong and it's not your fault why you've been toning wrong. Traditionally, toners are products. They help return the skin's pH to a neutral skin pH, and they help prep for absorption of other products. Witch Hazel is a product that people use very often, and I'm pretty sure that you've used it as well, to help cleanse the skin. And those who have oily skin or acneic skin tend to be drawn to products like Witch Hazel that promise to remove the oils from the skin. If your skin is oily, super oily to the point where you feel like you need to strip all the oils from your skin, your skin is going to react by bringing oils back. So you're always going to be oily if you're always stripping the oils from the skin. Oftentimes, oily skin is really dehydrated. So far, I agree with her. Uh, oily skin sometimes is dehydrated skin. As someone with oily skin, I would think oily such combination skin, I thought that my skin was just oily um, all the time. But then I noticed when I did drink enough water or even just use like water-based moisturizer, moisturizers, you know, water-based products, my oiliness was uh, under a lot more control. She is right. People used toners in the past for its toning properties, which included things like balancing back the skin's pH and stuff like that. But now people want more from their products. People want toners that have actives like salicylic acid and AHA or just something to give them more benefits than the traditional toners. I mean, it, you can't help it. It's the competition that we're in now. However, I still do recommend Witch Hazel for people that do have oily skin for the reasons that I'm about to tell you. Like I told you, you guys in the beginning which hazel contains tannis which is what gives it its astringent properties and i told you guys that tannis is gotten from the bark and the leaves of the trees and this tannis that's gotten from the trees is about 10 percent another thing you should know is that which hazel that's gotten from the bark of the trees contains more tannis than the one that's gotten from the leaves the leaves contain tannis as well it also contains polyphenols as well as essential oils polyphenols are pretty popular they're known for protecting the skin against sunspots fine lines and wrinkles and essential oils as you guys know can be irritating but also has its benefits. For someone with oily skin, an astringent would be great because it helps strict those pores in your skin and if you have acne or inflammation, if you have things like that, I definitely recommend Witch Hazel for all of these properties that it has, the astringent, the antioxidant, and the essential oils that it has. If these are things that you like in a product, I do agree that Witch Hazel is important. The skin requires water to be healthy, so when your skin is dehydrated, things start to go out of whack. Your moisture barrier is impaired, which allows more bacteria into the skin, and maybe this caused acne. Decreased moisture barrier function also means more inflammation in the skin. Maybe that also caused acne. It causes a lot of oiliness, also a cause for acne. What I'm saying here is that the skin really needs to be hydrated, not to be stripped of all your oils. So throw out your witch hazel in enters hydrating toner. I don't agree with her. No, no, I don't agree with her here. Absolute BS. Don't throw away your witch hazel if it works for you. If you haven't noticed any irritation in your skin and if it seems to be giving you the results that you need, please don't throw away your witch hazel. Continue using it. I get the point of a hydrating toner, but if you have oily skin and you need a product that you know has antioxidant benefits, protection from the sun, and estrogen properties all in one, please continue using your witch hazel. If you want to try a hydrating toner, go for it. But again, if witch hazel works for you, girl keep that shit. Now what exactly makes up a hydrating toner? A hydrating toner is is essentially just two things, water and humectants. Humectants are ingredients that bind water into the skin. Humectants are like water magnets. They like just sit around and 
hoard water molecules into your skin. They're hoarders. Nowadays, toners get a lot more confusing than like witch hazel or hydrating. As people started getting more and more into skincare, they kind of wanted like all of their products to do something fancy. So now we have toners that, you know, have salicylic acid in them for acne clients. And then we have exfoliating toners and, and toners that help hyperpigmentation and all these other things. But remember, a basic toner is just a hydrator water and humectants. Everything else is extra. Another thing I want to point out is the alcohol. When witch hazel is combined with alcohol, it does exasperate its properties and makes it even more astringency. Is that even a word? Towards the end of the video, I recommend a product that's really affordable that has both hydrating properties as well as witch hazel properties and doesn't have any alcohol that can be substituted if you are worried about the really drying properties of the witch hazel that might have alcohol in it. Now in the description box, you'll also see three of my favorite toners. Toner number one is from Eminence, Stone Crop Toner. Uh, this is the toner that I use like on my face personally. I adore this toner. It's a hydrating toner, but it also helps treat hyperpigmentation. It's priced at $40 and you can find it at Derm Store. Second toner is the one that I use in my studio and that I recommend to clients. It's PCA's Hydrating Toner. Now I use this one in the studio and I love it and I recommend it, especially to my acne clients because it has Arnica. Arnica is a natural flower that helps reduce inflammation. Last but not least, because I didn't want you to like jump out the window at these price points, my affordable fave for toners is Heritage Store Rose Water Toner. This toner I love because rose water really helps to stabilize the skin's pH naturally. It smells beautiful and this toner contains so many humectants. Okay, I'm just gonna end the video here and talk about what I wanna talk about last. So these three toners she recommended, while they may be great toners, we all know which hazel is gold standard, astringent, antiseptic, whatever you wanna call it. And these toners she's recommending is so pricey, even the last one she recommended is like $11. Like, no, <laughs> I don't wanna spend $11 for my toner. I mean, there's like a smaller ounce, two fluid ounces for $2, but who really wants to buy two fluid ounce toner? It's literally only gonna last you like less than a week or two I don't know depending on how much you use your toners but I do want to recommend this one from Walmart they also have it at Target this one is called the Dickinson's enhanced witch hazel hydrating toner with rose water alcohol free 98% natural formula this one is 16 ounces it's only $5.97 it's currently sold out at Walmart at the time of this video recording um, but it's only $5.97 and its key ingredients are obviously the witch hazel there's no alcohol it just has polysorbate 20 which is the maltrafract it has phenoxyethanol. It has rose water, which is, like she said, great for maintaining that skin pH. Could also be great for hyperpigmentation. It also has aloe um, and hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Pretty much everything and more, like the one that she recommended. And it's only $5 for a 16 ounce. So I highly recommend this one. I'll leave the link to get this one in the description bar. So if you're someone with oily or dry skin that has noticed a lot of irritation or dryness with witch hazel, the standard witch hazel with alcohol in it, definitely, definitely switch over to this one because you might see a lot more benefits with this one but yeah that's it for this video i really wanted to make a quick video and tell you guys my thoughts on this video that's been going around for a while leave me a comment what you think thumbs up if you like the video you know the deal subscribe support your girl follow me on all the socials i'm all at april bassi on there and i will see you guys next time bye